The San Francisco 49ers are now 5-0 and looking like one of the best teams in the NFL. Now, I think it's safe to say they are a Super Bowl favorite, so what we're gonna do today is make their lives a little bit harder. And the way we're gonna do that is with this wheel right here. To make it super simple, we'll start with Nick Bosa. When I spin the wheel, whatever it lands on is what's gonna happen to that player. So for Nick Bosa, he is going to flip overalls. So he goes from a 98 to an 89. I think you get the idea how this is gonna work. Also real quick, I saw today that literally 98.9% .9 of the people who watch these videos are not subscribed. So if you could please subscribe and we can get that down to like 97%, that'd be pretty cool. Now let's get back into it. So we're not gonna do this with every player on the team, but we're gonna target their best overall to see how good this team could still be with a little bit of randomization. So we remove flip overall from the wheel and now we're spinning for Trent Williams, who is going to get a plus 10 overall. So he's He's already a 98, so in this case, we'll just make him a 99 at everything. So plus 10 overall is off the board and we're on to George Kittle. Now the point with this wheel is that there are positives and negatives. I didn't just wanna do all negative things as it hits a literally another positive thing. This is not how I thought this would go. I still want them to try to win the Super Bowl. Like I'm not trying to destroy that chance. I did wanna make it a bit harder for them. But the thing to remember is that as we go, we're removing the positives off the board so it's more likely that a guy like Christian McCaffrey or Brock Purdy might get a negative. So we'll spin again for Fred Warner now. He is gonna get a position upgrade. So the idea of the way this one works is that we're going to trade away whoever his backup was just to get better at that position. So Demario Davis is now on this team. This team is only getting better, which this honestly kind of feels like the 49ers luck that nothing can go wrong for them. So we'll remove this and spin again. Uh, Demario Davis is now on this list of people that could get affected. So Christian McCaffrey's up next and he is safe. Why is this going the exact opposite way that I thought it was going to? We're gonna remove that and spin again for now Demario Davis. And hopefully this is something, neg okay, we've literally done sort of nothing because we just traded for him and now we're releasing him. Cool. Debo Samuel, will you help or hurt this team? I really thought we were gonna have some positives and negatives, but there we go, trade player away. So the way this one's gonna work is we're just gonna trade him away for somebody else at that position that's not obviously as good as him. So in this case, he's an 89. We're gonna flip him to Denver for Jerry Judy, someone who was an 83. So I think it's like kind of a, a balance of we lost a really good player, somebody who's really dynamic in this offense, but it will definitely be a lot worse for them on offense now without Debo. So next up is Trevarius Ward, and he is going to get a dev trait upgrade. So he'll go up to superstar. So I think with a superstar dev trait, he might actually get into the 90s now with some upgrades. Next we have Kyle Juszczyk, who we're pretty much all negative things on this wheel. There is one more positive and he's gonna get it. He's superstar X Factor. Is he already superstar X Factor? So he has star now, so he's gonna go up to superstar X Factor. And this team is still looking really good, but we have a few other things on the wheel and not too many nice things left to happen to them. He gets a minus 10 overall. So Brandon Ayuk is going to be a 76 now. So this receiving room has definitely uh, gotten worse. Uh, we haven't hit Brock Purdy yet, and he does not have uh, a lot of good options on that wheel. So minus 10 is off the board, and this is what I'm calling X2 Twins. So what we're gonna do is make a copy of him, basically, at the free safety position and have another 86. So now at strong safety, we have one, and free safety, we have two. We have two left, and Eric Armstead is getting a dev trait downgrade. So he goes from star to normal normal dev. So that gets removed from the wheel. And I mean, I think we know where this one's gonna go. Brock Purdy is going to be playing defense now. He was gonna be last because of his overall anyway. So it was really just gonna be a roll of the dice to see what was still left. So he is a 24 overall corner and doesn't matter about the rest of the guys in that room. He's gonna be the number one corner on this team, which also means that for the rest of the season, Sam Darnold is going to be the starting quarterback. So I think their odds to win the Super Bowl definitely just went down. But yeah, I do want to see this team uh, play a little bit before we uh, go to the playoffs. I know it feels like the team hasn't changed that much, but I do think the changes we made actually are going to hurt this team overall. But yeah, I think the biggest thing they got really lucky with is that Christian McCaffrey was safe. I thought he might have been the one to get traded or maybe even just lose some overall, but wow, and Darnold throws a pick. 
on the first drive for a pick six. Wow. Okay. So maybe that Brock Purdy uh, flip to defense is going to be a bigger deal than we thought. I was honestly shocked here for a second because I thought that we were going to get some pretty average gameplay to start, but he threw it right to him. That wasn't even close. The 49ers might be in trouble here. Before we jump ahead, I want to see if uh, Darnold can kind of redeem himself here. Darnold started off terrible and throwing deep and it picked again. <laughs> this could not have gone worse for them. I think I actually ruined this team. When we were spinning the wheel, I was getting a little nervous for this video, thinking like, oh, you know, people are gonna say this was too easy, nothing happened to them. But literally, Darnold, two picks on the first two drives. That is actually crazy. Darnold has led the comeback. He's got three touchdowns, but three interceptions. He's gonna get sacked. So it's second and 25 now. That was awful from Darnold. They can't hand it off here. He's gonna get sacked again. Wow, Miles Garrett, third and 27 now. And Darnold's like looking to get in a fight. He's literally going for the Mason Rudolph decision there. I think that was a bad idea for Rudolph, so Darnold shouldn't try. But on third and 27, can Darnold get it done? And he's sacked a third time, fourth and 37 from their own sixth. He almost sacked again and almost picked by Denzel Ward. Wow. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen somebody get sacked by the same guy on three straight plays and nearly sacked for the fourth time. And the 49ers are gonna get their first loss of the season. Honestly, I think because of Sam Darnold at quarterback. So I think this team might be in some trouble going forward. Wow, so at the playoffs now, this team went 13 and four. So in the last 12 games of the year, Darnold had 26, almost 2,700 yards, 22 touchdowns, and 13 picks. Rushing McCaffrey had 1,700 yards and 18 touchdowns. I mean, him getting lucky and getting a safe spin on the wheel definitely helped this team. Receiving Kittle had four touchdowns on the year. He literally had three touchdowns last week with Brock Purdy. Defensively, Bosa still led this team in sacks with nine, and Brock Purdy had 50 tackles with one for loss. I mean, I don't know what really I'd expected here, but he didn't seem like he really hurt the team, so not too bad. And in the divisional round of the playoffs, they are going to be playing the Los Angeles Rams. It's Darnold versus Stafford. So we're gonna be in the sim. I just wanna be here just in case it's a close game. I really hope the 49ers make it to the Super Bowl so we have something cool to watch here. So with a minute 30 left in the divisional round, Darnold second and one from about the 50 nearly picked. Can Darnold pull it off? I mean, he's got 90 seconds left and about 50 yards to go. I mean, this is an easy first down to Kittle. Not out of bounds though, so the clock is ticking. Darnold from the 41. Gonna take a deep shot here to the sideline and he has Jennings, but it's not guaranteed yet. They still got 26 yards to go. Darnold with a strike to Kittle. Down to the 10, 60 seconds left. Taking their time to the line here. I mean, they got 40 seconds, 10 yards to go. Darnold rolling the wrong way, huge sack. Uh, phrasing. Loses 13 on the play, 36 seconds to go from the 23. Gonna bring it over the middle, that's Judy. Judy gets it back up to about the 14. They really gotta hurry up here. I mean, they're not using their timeouts. Darnold gonna look end zone and deflected. So the season is on the line here. Fourth and 13 with 12 seconds left. Darnold, can he get it done? Looks to Kittle and it's broken up. Wow, they're gonna lose. And with that, the game is over. Darnold taking that sack honestly cost them the game. And crazy enough, the Broncos are in the Super Bowl. Debo had a great year for them. Almost 1,200 yards and 12 touchdowns. I think the 49ers would have been here had it not been for the changes we made. But yeah, the Cowboys are champs. So if you like this kind of video where we shake up a team and randomize some things, leave a comment down below and let me know which one you want me to do next. It was just a little bit of an experiment to see like how much a team gets affected by just a few little changes that we can make in the game. So if you like it, let me know and I'll see you guys in the next video. Be good people.